if you're looking for motion graphics for your church to put up on the pro- projectors, right, to put up on the screens, to uh, improve the production value of your services, to make things look more polished for your live streams, to get, uh, you know, professionally designed templates, professionally designed countdowns, then there are a lot of options out there. There's a lot of different services, a lot of different websites that are offering this um, for a price. Uh, just recently, Pro Presenter, if you use Pro Presenter, they also entered into this market where they are now uh, selling motion backgrounds or selling motion countdowns and things like that. And it integrates right into Pro Presenter. And so I thought, you know, I've, I've used several of these providers. So I'm going to take you behind my three favorite today. We're actually going to look at the members area. So you're going to be able to see what they offer, kind of look at, at the motion graphics. And I'll give my opinion as to, you know, which ones I like, what I like about this and what I don't like about it. And uh, we'll jump right into it and we'll talk pricing. So let's get started. All right. For those that don't know, I am Ryan Scott from ChurchSetup.com, and I am also a pastor of a small, we're a brand new church in Seattle, Washington. I say brand new. We've been working at it for nine years, but starting from scratch, and uh, we're still going, still, still going. Uh, but we're we're having to do all of our production and everything from a very, very small team of zero people um, when we first got started. Now um, we have some people helping us out, and so we're scaling up. And in doing that. Uh, we've signed up for a lot of different services over the years. We've signed up for a lot of different offerings. And I've found that there are three that I really like for my church, and they're, they off, also offer uh, things that work really good for live streaming. So we're going to jump in. I'm going to show you the three, but we're going to talk about pricing first because if it's not in the budget, no need to look at it. But if it is in your budget, then these can offer you a lot. So let's jump over and we'll look at, um, the first one is churchmotiongraphics.com. Now, I am not sponsored by any of these. I am an affiliate for churchmotiongraphics.com, um, but uh, I don't even remember the affiliate link. So I'm not gonna put it in here, but I'll put all of the links to everything down below in the description. churchmotiongraphics.com. They are the most expensive of the ones that I'm going to tell you about today. They do cost the most. Um, they, um, If you buy their premium package, it's $349 for your first year, then $200 after that. And if you just do standard, it's $250 your first year, and then $150 after that. Honestly, um, $100 for your first year, and then $50 for the second year, I would go ahead and get premium just in case they offer something in premium that you would want the the price difference is not big enough for me to recommend one over the other. However, I will say that um, you can you can get by with a lot. Their standard offering is not small. <laughs> so let's jump into Church Motion Graphics and, uh, and we'll show you kind of what they offer. Um, if I can get to that other browser. So let's go to churchmotiongraphics.com. When you, when you go to their website, um, they, it's actually really easy to navigate. So um, you're going to browse media at the top. Once you sign in, they have packs, which are kind of like uh, themes. They have um, motion graphics and they have slide templates and social graphics. So social graphics, self-explanatory. This is social media post, And we'll look at that in a second. Slide templates. This is uh, templates for slide designs that you can put up there like scriptures, sermon slides, things like that. Motion graphics. This is motion backgrounds, uh, countdowns and stuff like that. And then packs are kind of like themes. So you'll see when we look at motion graphics, um, they actually have some recurring themes um, of designs. So you can see like the power, uh, tower power. Um, they have a bunch of different in the same kind of design. And so all of these will be in the in the pack, right? Um, but let's just look. They have motion backgrounds. They have motion titles. So if you want to put like a welcome thing up there or thanks for joining us or whatever, they have countdowns and they have pro countdown timers. Then they have mini movies and then they have Spanish motion titles. This library is massive. So it is definitely worth the money. One notice about the pro countdown timers is that it's a countdown timer without a background. So these have backgrounds on them. You can see as they, they go, um, these are just the timers. So everything that's black in there is actually transparent. So if you have a, a video editor um, that can take whatever background you want, they can actually throw this video on top of that and uh, just the countdown timer will show up over whatever video they're using because all the black is transparent. So it's just a countdown timer It's called pro because you use it however you want in your own production, but you have to, you have to do the editing yourself. All of these are kind of pre-edited for you. Um, all the countdowns, they have the, the welcome messages, but let's look at the motion backgrounds because that's where 
what a lot of people are really interested in. They have over 7,000 of these and their library is growing every month. So more than you might ever, ever use. And uh, you can just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. And you can see most of the time they have a bunch in the same kind of theme um, for that pack. Like here, now we're getting into floral stuff and now we're getting into these lines. Um, they're calling a vintage lines. And then you go down a little bit further and you're going to get into kind of like a, a stellar shift um, in a bunch of different colors. And you can, you can scroll for a long, 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 long time. They have some themed ones around like Easter. Um, just a lot of stuff going on here. And, um, and so they have over 7,000 of those. And those are just motion backgrounds that loop perfectly. So you can put them behind your song lyrics. You can put them behind your scriptures. You can put them, uh, you know, however you want to use motion backgrounds. You have over 7,000. So a lot of room to get creative there. You go into slide templates. They have um, they have slide templates for announcements. They have slide templates for sermon series, and they have for for live streams. You can you know they've got some templates there for your live streams um, for certain services like Pentecost, um, graduation. They've got a bunch of stuff like Memorial Day, just slides that you would put up on a slideshow. But looking at the uh, the sermon series, this is um, I've used their stuff here a lot. For example, this preach the word. What you get is a bunch of different designs around this design. So you get this one with the uh, the uh, subtitle and everything. You get this one with just the main title. You get this one without any typos on it. And then you get kind of a, a main background that's, that you put like scriptures with and stuff. And that's pretty much it. And you can download any of those that you want, or you can download an editable Photoshop file. So you can you can bring that into Photoshop and uh, and work with it in there, or you can open it up in their designer and uh, and do stuff like that. You can do color matching. They've got a lot of offerings here that makes things easy for people. Um, and you can see it's the same. Let's let's open up this one. You're going to see we've got the the title, subtitle, just the title no title, and then a background for like scriptures and stuff like that. But they have over almost 1,200 slide templates that that are meant to be used with sermons and stuff like that. They've also, it's the same thing with their announcements. You can open it up, you can edit it, all kinds of stuff there. Um, and uh, when you look at your social graphics, um, so these are social graphics for announcements and things like that, special, they've got some, some you know, inspiring ones but it's, it's the same deal. You can get their message or you can get one that's blank, or you can download the, uh, the Photoshop file and edit it in Photoshop. What I've been doing recently is downloading their blank one, throwing it into Canva and then using Canva to edit it. Cause I don't like using Photoshop anymore. It's just way too much work where Canva makes things really, really fast. Um, but that is pretty much there. There's so much that they offer. It's hard to go through everything in one video without making this just so long. But um, you can you can check them out again. It's uh, the pricing on that is move that down a little bit. The pricing on that is three hundred fifty dollars for your first year, two hundred dollars after that, or just standard two hundred fifty dollars and one hundred forty nine dollars. Um, they have the largest library of any of the tools that I've used before. There's just so much um, stuff that they offer, and all of it is is very very uh, user friendly. The thing that I don't like about Church Motion Graphics um, is that their, their design style seems to be very repetitive. They do a lot of pastel stuff and a lot of overly clunky cartoonish kind of designs in their motion graphics, um, which I don't like the cartoony. I don't like the pastel-y, um, pastel the pastel kind of design. And they're doing a lot of that, like florals and, um, you, you know, just the examples that you saw. I don't think it doesn't, the quality is there in terms of quality, the perceived quality of the design. I just, they, they feel a little bit cheaper than some of the other offerings and uh, they do a lot of that. However, there is so much in their library. If you especially go back, um, you know, a few months, um, if you go kind of deeper, their designs are a little bit better, but they do have seem to be in a rut with this kind of weird pastel blocky, cartoony kind of design themes that I don't like, like the lava lamp. Uh, I just don't like it. And that's personal preference. You may love it, but I'm not going to put a bunch of lava lamps all over my church. I just don't like it. Um, but that's, that's just personal preference, but they have a huge library and a lot of good quality content in there. The next thing that I want to talk about is motion worship. 
So Motion Worship looks like this. Let's look at the pricing first. Their pricing info for Motion Worship, very, very inexpensive. So this is the cheapest out of everything that I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you three different ones. This is the cheapest. Um, you get full access to everything that they offer for $80 a year. And there's a specific reason why I signed up for Motion Worship. I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, you can do just mini movies if you want for $30 a year, or you can do motions and no mini movies for $50 a year or get everything for $80 a year. $80 a year. That's less than $10 a month. That's like that's like $6 a month almost, you know, um, it's definitely, definitely worth it. Um, so if you were look at it, um, most popular, their library isn't near the size of church motion graphics, but their motions, um, they feel more premium to me than church motion graphics, if that makes sense. Um, you know, like the smokes, they're just very well designed. Even their particle things, they're just very well done. And uh, they just look super good. Even they're like, you know, nature ones where they're showing like the, the aerials or rivers and stuff like this. They're usually very, very uh, premium feeling over, you know, just someone out with a camera recording a, a loop. Um, but I really like it. They've got 152 pages of these uh, backgrounds. So they've got, they've got just about anything that you would ever want. Um, but still church motion graphics has more to offer than they do, but they do, uh, they do motions, they do countdowns, and uh, one thing about the countdown you'll hear. All of their countdowns have music. And they allow you to stream this. So um, all of this music that is on their countdowns is... Um, royalty free, which means that you can use it as like a countdown on your, um, on your live stream and you won't have any copyright claim over the countdown music. Um, but you can also just mute it and play your own music over it if you want, but they have a lot, you know, a bunch of different pages of countdowns. And again, their designs just seem premium. I like the music too. Um, but they have a bunch of different stuff here. Countdowns, they have stuff for holidays. They got still images of, of their designs. But then the motions is really why you would sign up with them. But the reason that I chose to pay is because their mini movies, like their introduction videos that you would use that like to kick off a service, they are very, very well done. Just... What I'm thinking is, um, you know, we have a countdown right now, uh, but to bridge between the countdown and the praise and worship actually starting, I've actually thought about, you know, using these mini movies to make that bridge. And when I looked at some of theirs, um, I don't remember the exact ones that I looked at, but I was, I was very, very impressed. They're not corny. They're not dorky. Um, they're very well designed. And so... Many of us take for granted. Another year is officially in the past. A chapter is closed. Anyway, um, that's the reason that I went ahead and bought them and I have not regretted it. I haven't used these in an actual service yet, but I'm going to. That's why I bought it. Uh, but uh, $80 a month, It's I mean, $80 a, a year. It's kind of um, a no brainer really at this point. So let's look at the last one. The last one that I want to look at is actually called church motion or I'm sorry, it's pro content. So pro presenter, if, if you use pro presenter, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you don't pro presenter is a projection control software. So they control the displays, um, presentation software. Don't really know the, the name of the category. Everybody calls it something different, but pro presenter is the leader in uh, the space. You've got proclaim easy worship and stuff like that. But pro presenter is the pro one. They use it in, in event venues everywhere to control displays and, and all kinds of stuff. Um, it controls a lot more than that. It's kind of like the Ableton of the display of, of production, right? Um, but uh, they have just entered into the, uh, the content market in this area, offering motions, backgrounds, templates, things like that. And so they are offering $200 a year 
and uh, it integrates directly with ProPresenter. It actually shows up inside of ProPresenter. You can see all of your videos there. Um, whereas with the other ones, you have to download them and add them to ProPresenter. Their entire library is in ProPresenter already, even though you haven't downloaded it. Um, so it's 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 kind of convenient if you're using ProPresenter. It's also convenient if you're not, because you can just download these like the other ones. But two hundred dollars a year with no sign up fee, so no one hundred dollar charge until Zoom until June, and you get a lot of stuff. And they have a pretty impressive, um, a pretty impressive library. So we're gonna go to their library and it's it's kind of difficult to navigate at first before you get used to it but um we'll we'll just look at their uh their worship packs so they have a bunch of different like the pixels it's a pack so you get a bunch of different around a bunch of different designs around one theme water paint which i don't like the whole pastel look i don't know what i guess maybe because it's spring everybody seems to be doing that but again their their backgrounds feel very premium um some of them are, are kind of way too loud, but some of them, they just feel super good. Um, and they have a bunch, you can, you can just scroll through. They have a bunch of packs about everything. They are, they do have a wide variety of, of nature packs. So if you like the, the nature kind of backgrounds, um, this is very church motion graphics. See, I don't like the pixel kind of cartoon look, but, um, again, that's just me. I really like this one though. Um, but they have a bunch of different designs there. Uh, but they also, they're kind of going head to head where, where motion worship is kind of going after the, the motion and the, the mini movie kind of thing. Pro content is going after kind of the church motion graphic crowd where you have intro videos, which are the mini movies. You have design assets. So you can download LUTs for your cameras. You can download design like these um, flares that you can put over your video content. They've got lower third templates for, for um, you know, Adobe After Effects, um, just a bunch of different kind of design elements that you can use, which if you if you have a full uh, media production team, there's a lot of assets in there that you can you can take advantage of. They've got stock photos, stock videos, they have announcement packs, they have countdowns, they have, you know, series uh, again with Photoshop files that you can you can edit. Uh, so they've got different series. One things that they they don't do as well as um, as well as uh, church motion graphics is they don't have the built in editor. So you can download for for Photoshop. You can also download the little pieces and uh, edit it in Canva if you want. Um, but uh, they have those. They have social graphics as well. And again, you know, midweek updates are going to give you a bunch of different sizes. So you can post them however you want. Story post got the 16 by nine. Um, so they have a lot to offer as well. $200 a month. They're cheaper than church motion graphics. They don't have as wide or as large as library. Very few people do. But again, this is another great offering. I use all three of these. I think my favorite in terms of quality of what they put out is probably motion worship, but they also have the smallest library. So in my, in my opinion, in, in uh, order of what I like, I like motion worship and it's only $80 a month. And then I like pro content. It's only $200 a year. I mean, sorry, $80 a year pro content. is only $200 a year and their library is growing and it integrates directly with pro presenter and then church motion graphics. They have a huge library. I've been using them for years and I love all the stuff that they do except for the recent designs that are all in pastels and stuff like, like I've been complaining about, but um, you know, they are more expensive, but their library is much more massive. So if you're going to use a lot of different things, um, church motion graphics is a good choice. Again, I'm not, um, I'm not being paid to, to review these. These are the three that I use on an ongoing basis. So I wanted to share them with you, but you can take these use countdown. They allow you to use them on your live streams. You can use them as a countdown for your live streams, backgrounds for your live stream. Matter of fact, take a look at the background behind, uh, behind my video here. And you will see that it is a motion graphic and it is one that I have downloaded. I can't remember which one, um, but I downloaded it from there and I'm using it as a background on my live stream and they allow you to do that as well. Um, but just a lot of stuff on there. Hopefully it's helpful. Let me know in the comments, um, which one you like, what price range you like the best. And if there's any that I didn't cover any libraries that, that you use, share those in the comments as well. So we can check them out. And so everybody else can check them out as well. 
And uh, if, if there's something out there that you really like, I want to be able to look at it because I might end up liking it too and using it. So uh, share those in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this video uh, helped you get a little idea of, of what some of these services offer. And, uh, and so we'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Have you ever wondered how to take your church's message beyond the four walls of the sanctuary and into the homes of people who would never have darkened your doorstep? Look no further than Church Setup. We make it easy for you to produce professional grade live streams that won't break the bank. And it's not just for churches. We've helped everyone from higher education to high schools to even municipal organizations. You name it, we've got you covered. Now, we know that choosing cameras and components can be a daunting task. You could spend hours, weeks, months checking and double checking compatibility and quality only to end up regretting your purchase in the end. But with Church Setup, you don't have to waste the time. You don't have to worry about any of that. We've combined the best products from top brands like Blackmagic Design, Canon, Bird Dog, PTZ Optics into all-in-one video kits that work almost as easy as taking them out of the box, plugging them in, and starting to stream. But that's not all. We also offer premium support and training to help you out whenever you need it. So whether you're looking to launch a new live stream or upgrade your current setup, head on over to churchsetup.com and let us earn your business. Because at Church Setup, we're not just here to help you spread your message. We're here to make it fun and easy and affordable. That was a good commercial. I think that was a good commercial. My phone keeps lighting up.